All right, here we go. So in this video, I want to talk about negative yes, no questions and how they're different from positive yes, no questions and how the answers that <clears throat> native English speakers or proficient English speakers give differ from uh, what some Asian speakers, speakers of Asian languages such as uh, Korean or Japanese give due to how things work differently in their language. So first, let's look at <clears throat> how positive yes-no questions are different from negative yes-no questions because these questions, with two sets of examples, are you married? You aren't married? Aren't you married? Are not the same. I think a lot of students think that they are and I often hear students use this aren't you or don't you version thinking it's the same as number one and it's definitely not. And the difference between these questions has to do with the expectation of the speaker and what that speaker is thinking. So, are you married? This is a positive yes no question. There's no not in here like in two and three, okay? I have to be careful of the microphone. So there's no expectation. It's just, I don't know if you're married, so I'm asking, are you married? And then you're either going to say yes or no. <clears throat> Whereas if I say, you aren't married, I have an expectation. I think that you are. So I'm surprised that you're not. And often one and two go together. First I ask, are you married? And you say, no, I'm not. And I'm surprised, so I say, you aren't married? I thought you were. I'm surprised. Whereas number three is completely different, and it's often used alone. Aren't you married? I thought you were. What are you doing with that other person? What would your husband think? What would your wife think? So my expectation is, yes, that you are married, and I'm not just surprised, I'm shocked because of what you're doing. All right? So let's look at the other set of examples. B, do you have to work in the morning? I have no idea, so I'm asking. It's either yes or no. No expectation. You don't have to work in the morning? So I'm surprised. <clears throat> so yes, I have an expectation. All right. And again, these often go together. Do you have to work in the morning? No, I don't. You don't have to work in the morning? I thought you did. All right. Three is completely different. Again, don't you have to work in the morning? What are you doing watching TV all night? Or what are you doing drinking? So again, I have an expectation and I'm shocked. Okay. So now the answers. <clears throat> Unlike in some Asian languages such as Korean, whatever answer you give for one will be the same that you need to give for two and three. Are you married? Yes, I am married. Whether you give the whole answer, yes, I am married, yes, I am, or yes, um, or, or just the shorter version, yes. Um, you aren't married? Yes, I am married, yes. Aren't you married? Yes, it's the same. Yes, 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 or no, I'm not married. No, I'm not married. No, I'm not married. Either yes, 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 or no, no, no. Yes, that's true, or no, that's not true. What you said is not true. There's no problem with number one, are you married? 
yes, that's true, equals yes, I am, or no, that's not true. There's no confusion between that and no, I'm, I'm not married. All right, but if you get into these negative questions, you aren't married? Yes, the Asian person thinking that's true is actually telling the English speaker, yes, I'm not married. And you can't combine yes and not in an answer, yes, I'm not. That doesn't work. It's no, I, no I'm not or yes, I am. And it's the same here. Don't you have to work in the morning? Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, means what you're telling the English speaker is, yes, I don't have to work in the morning. You can't say, yes, I don't. It's yes, I do or no, I don't. Okay? So, that's just a quick look at these negative questions. I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And also check out my Quizlet on this topic in the box below. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.